Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for you. This is the 3rd to the 9th of October 2022. So we have the card of Gemini in the Minor Arcana for me as a reader, the Knight of Swords, male or female. This feels like there's some news coming your way, news, communication, conversations going on. The Death card. The Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. The High Priestess. The Five of Cups. The Devil. And we have the King of Cups. Can be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male or female, or the energy of the card. Other cards on the table, we, have, we also have Scorpio and we also have, we also, we have the Devil, which is Capricorn. This feels like uh, a conversation's been had on whether to end something here. The energy that I'm getting with this Gi Gemini is um, one person is getting everything or could well be indulging in what makes them happy as well with that nine of cups it can be an indulg indulgent energy whether it's alcohol whether it's socializing drinking or addiction of some kind could be other things so the nine of cups with the devil can be about indulgence in some kind of behavioral pattern but there's a feeling here of i know what i need to do and getting the clarity that you need on this situation and communicating it, communicating your decision. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups. This feels like so a conversation to end something. The tower, yeah, let it all fall down. It can be linked to truth, revelation, or event that unfolds that can bring change here. So it could well be part of this is, you know, something came to light and there was a, it made your mind up and maybe made a decision clearer for you. Clarify death, because it, it does feel like, I mean, the Five of Cups can be about loss. Regret, mourning something that's gone, but sometimes we do that to know it's for our highest good as well. You know, we, we miss the person that we might be, you know, you might finish with, but there is still hope in this situation with the two cups that are still, you know, there are right behind this person. It's just they don't see it right now, but it's a process. So this is the energy of there's still hope, you know, around you, even though something may have gone, something may have ended. It might well be the things that you miss about that person, but it's a process. Clarify the death card intuitively. Feeling the right thing to do is end something. The emperor doing the right thing taking control, taking your power back. Three of Wands, turning your back on a situation and man manifesting a new direction here. Yeah, let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Justice, doing the right thing, knowing what the right thing to do is, however difficult the truth is to look at, because it helps you move in a direction where you have a healthier reality. This feels 
this feels like someone's coming to terms with ending something because it's not for the highest good and they know what the right thing to do is to restore balance in their life. And it's from the experience you've had with this devil. The devil called, the devil? I don't know what it is. Mercury retrograde this week. It's just playing with what I'm saying. We have the devil. The devil can be about negative repeating cycles, uh, addiction, codependency, physical desire, passion, but knowing it's for your, not for your highest good. It's tempting. The devil is temptation because it plays on our weaknesses. Um, can be controlling behavior, manipulative behavior again, whatever this behavioral pattern is. But it fills with this nine of cups. One person's getting everything out of this relationship and the other person isn't to the point where they know the right thing to do now is to end something. I feel this is an energy here with the king of cups of that tempting offer, tempting you back into that fold playing on emotions and feelings with that king of cups in order to restore balance and harmony in this situation but there is a strong energy here of, of someone deciding the right thing to do is to end something any other message please spirit for this reading for gemini the two of wands major life choice or decision it can also be linked to stay or go Spirit is really telling you here, Gemini, that don't let fear of the unknown stop you from making the right decision for you, not fearing that nothing else will be out there. Because there will, there's hope in this situation, all is not lost, you just don't see it yet. That's the Five of Cups. The star, the card of hope. <laughs> hope, faith, reasons to be optimistic. On your choices. The star comes after the tower in the major arcana. It can be where there's endings, events that cause major endings. It can be that sense of new hope, renewal, faith, reasons to optimist, optimistic and wish fulfillment coming your way. Make the right choice for you and have faith in that. Have faith on the path that you choose. That is the energy here. And don't let fear of the unknown stop you from making the right choice. Because if you fear that nothing else is out there, you're wrong. There is. That is the energy. But hey, free will. That is what I'm getting for you for the week, Gemini. Final message for Gemini. Interesting. We've got to go outside. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm getting with this? The message that just dropped in with go outside is... It's almost, you know, this is about stepping into the unknown, the two of wands or the opportunity to. This feels like as well, go outside, moving out of that comfort zone, having the opportunity to break free of some, even repeating negative cycle and push the boundaries or break free of those boundaries. So for some of you, that could be, <clears throat> that could be what you're evaluating. So we have go outside it's time to go outside, tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. And we have hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. I mean, I'm seeing, Gemini, I'm seeing this in terms of love, romance, relationships, but really this could be whatever situation you're in. It's about breaking free of some kind of repeating negative cycle. This could well be in, in terms of ending something. So this could be a work scenario where you're being told to, you know, push the boundaries and do the right thing in moving in a new direction in workplace scenarios and taking action and seeing what else is out there, manifesting a new path. So for some of you, this could be a work thing as well. But either way, it just feels like you're being told there's every reason to be hopeful and optimistic should you choose to step into the unknown here, is what I'm getting. Uh, obviously, in work career, I'd always advise make sure you move from one job to another. But there is a feeling here of, of how you take action and make choices this week is about doing the right thing for you. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.